Okay, so this question seems quite simple, but it's not as simple as it looks. So, we've got meters over seconds, or meters per second, and we've got kilometers per hour. Now, to get from meters to kilometers, um, we divide by a thousand, and that's nice and easy. Okay, so if we had a thousand meters, that would be one kilometer. Now, to get from seconds to hours, we divide by 60. Uh, to work out how many minutes it is, then we divide by 60 again. So in total, we divide by 3,600. But because it's at the bottom of the fraction, divisions turn into times. Okay, so we'd actually end up timesing it by 3,600 because it's at the bottom of the fraction. All right, so every time we divide the bottom of the fraction by a number, we're technically timesing the whole fraction by a number as well. So we get the 95, and we're going to divide it by 1,000, then times it by 3,600. And you can just use your calculator. So 95 divided by 1,000 times 3,600. And we get the answer of 342 kilometers per hour. Now, it would be alarming if uh, 95 meters per second, which is pretty quick, but if that ended up being 300 million blah 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 kilometers per hour, which is just unreasonably a uh, large number. So meters to second to kilometers per hour should be kind of in the same ballpark. Uh, so 95 to 342, the numbers are in kind of the same uh, region of scale.